Hey everybody, uh, just making a video going over my latest project. It was time to do some uh, work for the Free Buddhist Forum Toys for Tots Army. And this year we're doing Dark Angels. Uh, and so this is what I painted up. It's primarily uh, my donation. I got some other stuff here. Let's go over this for. This is obviously just the same, a plain, simple rhino. Uh, I did do some. I primed it black and I tried to do some pre shading, well, in this case, pre highlighting. If you look right here on the edges of the smokestacks, you can see a little bit lighter green there. That's about the only spot where it really still sticks around, unfortunately. Or maybe some here around the black. Uh, uh, the uh, Caliban green just turned out to be too much of a color, too much pigments uh, to, for the uh, pre-highlighting I did to survive, unfortunately. So I ended up doing some line highlighting. Uh, of course, plenty of weathering. Not so much any chip paint, but just lots of pigments on there to make it look dirty. Work. Well, I think it came out really, really well. Uh, it's a pretty basic paint job, and I wanted to do the uh, gunner on top just to kind of give it a little contrast. Uh, the, the, the red showing up, uh, so it's not entirely just a green uh, blob of plastic. Same with the black, just kind of break up the surface a little bit. That's really all it's it's there for. Also, got these were given to me. They are the Tactical Marines from the 40k uh, paint set that you can buy. Uh, they were given to me to paint up for this auction. They weren't originally part of my donation, but I'm going to throw them in anyway. Uh, just some comments about these guys. They're really probably not some of the worst models I've, from GW I've probably ever worked on. Specifically, these shoulder pads with the double-headed arrow on them, they're really molded very badly here on this arrow. Uh, so it takes quite a bit of work to get these things uh, cleaned up enough to, to paint. Uh, the rest of it's not too bad, it's mainly just that shoulder pad. But still, they're obviously cheaper and not as well made as the rest of the GW products. Uh, but once they're painted up, once they're cleaned up, painted up, they, they really don't stand out against uh, regular Marines very much. against. Uh, their models. They're not as good as the Dark Vengeance ones, for sure, uh, but they're still pretty good. Colors, unfortunately, are all picked by the uh, by uh, the Free Buddha's Radio, so I didn't really have any choice, a whole lot of creativity on what to, on how to paint them. So I just kind of went with the colors as I was told to. I'll show you the top of the rhino here. So I just repositioned everything. I just want to show off the top of the rhino because I think I get some really nice weathering effects up here uh, with the pigments. Oh, it's pretty dirty, but I kind of went like, I wanted to try and make it look like it was dirt that had been hit by rain, so I wanted to make it a little spotty and splotchy. And I think it turned out pretty well for the, uh, the amount of time I put into it, which really wasn't very much. But overall, I really like, like how the uh, weathering and the pigments came out on this thing just looks like it's just been used. It's been in the rain, it's been in the dirt, in the mud, uh, but it's not really chipped up on much. Uh, this guy is magnetic, I um, mean just for ease of transport more than anything else. So I really like how the mechanic this guy came out. And here's some more shots of these marines. So this again is my donation for the 2013 Free Buddhist Radio Toys for Tots uh, Charity Army. Uh, we're assembling the parts right now there, and they'll be up for auction hopefully uh, in time to make a donation for Christmas this year. So I'm just going to show off my recent work. Uh, next up is probably going to be a commission of some Imperial Fists, which I'm hoping to make a tutorial on sometime this week. So that's it for this update. And, uh, See you guys later.